CNC. Here's what I got so far. This will be my side rail. I have these wheels from uh, roller skates. I got these for like six bucks. They come with 16 bearings. So I was just going to use the bearings and go like this. But then I decided why not just use the wheels as well. What I'm thinking is this, and here we're looking at it from the side. But I'm thinking the two wheels on top, one wheel on the bottom, and then have two more wheels here on the side, like so. It'll roll smoothly, hopefully. So here's what I got so far. And I just love how smooth this is. And by the way, there's no play here. No play. That's how it's going to roll like that. I'm going to have my single wheel down here. <clears throat> then I'm going to have this thing like this. With a little bit of a gap. And then I'm going to have my two wheels like so. And then eventually I'll just weld these two together. There's my mark. So that works pretty well. It's just perfect. That's what we want with the CNC. I'm going to use this uh, as a template. Because now I can just drill the other side there. Okay, well that gives me my where the holes are going to be on the other side, so I'm just going to go ahead and mark them like this. These bearings are called Highway Fox, and that's in case you want to maybe take this on the highway. Safe enough, right? I'm going to add two more nuts, then the wheels, then two more nuts on the outside, and two more nuts. I think I got enough. Fuck, I don't know. Well, I'm gonna need more nuts. Ooh, I really like that. That's awesome. Obviously, I'm gonna have some, you know, join these two together via welding, but check it out, guys. It's coming out pretty good. I really like that. There's no play on this, guys. Look at that. That's really nice. Wow. Very cool. Hey guys, I'm setting this up so I can weld these two pieces together. Uh, I have this clamp down here just to make sure these wheels are flat up against this side. Same over here. So this is nicely clamped, not too hard because I don't want to, I don't want to have this be, you know, super stiff. But I also don't want any play at all. I want to do this sort of deal, but um, I want to cut a slit here, little thing like that. That's how it's going to go there. Just like that.
Uh, what a day in Austin, Texas. Got a couple of camp trails. Other than that, beautiful day. Now check this out guys. It's, I mean it works really well. There's absolutely no play. And uh, this thing won't even, like, it'll even stay this way. We'll see if the stepper motor can handle it. It's, it's a little stiff. Uh, maybe I'll back out on the clamps on the next one. I just loosened this nut over here and and the wheel just sort of dropped and now it's like uh, very smooth here sort of temporarily. I want to attach these to this. Uh, just clamp them down just to see how it behaves. I have these sort of parallel. We'll see. And it rolls guys. And pretty easy to move too. I think the lead screw will have no problems. On top of this is going to be my actual work surface. This will roll underneath it. The lead screw will probably go here somewhere. So I just set up a little temporary rig with the Acme lead screw and I just have this, you know, piece of plywood there with a hole just to make sure it doesn't wobble like that. And man, it's, uh, it's pretty good. Look at that. This is how big it's going to be at the end. It's basically four, four by four. The work surface is going to be smaller. I just spent a long time making sure that everything is level here. I tried different levels. Uh, obviously measured from one end to the other. Just making sure we're dead square. <clears throat> so some of these tubes are, you know, they're, they're not sitting perfect. So when I weld these, when I tack these, I'm just going to give it a slight turn there and do the same on the other end and that should get them nice and straight. We're still square. At least we're Harbor Freight square. <laughs> 